And welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for the return of Ash Quinn. This was a donation deck from about 10 days ago that um, ended up, it kind of looks like a weird combination of cards, but it ended up working really well and we ended up going 5-0 in ranked. Now, um, yeah, I'm not sure if we'll go 5-0 again. It's not easy going 5-0. You have to have um, some really good fortune in order to do that, but one to play it again. And so we're, we're back here. We're bringing it to rank up Sunday um, and retrying it. Um, I made one very small change, though, from last time. Last time in the eight mana slot, we had Captain Erica or Erika, whichever one. I think it's Erika. So Captain Erika was our eight mana slot, and it was a good card for us. It was a card that I was, I was kind of like scared to play at times. I was scared that it would uh, get killed, um, but uh, we, we did... We did use it to capture like a Heimerdinger in one game and uh, something else in another game. I don't remember what else, but you know, like I said, it was like 10 days ago. Um, but we did use it to capture, we did play it multiple times, captured some stuff, and it never died for us. So, um, you know, it, it went well. Um, but I'm going to try replacing it. So we'll see how how this goes. We're going to try a different eight mana card. We're going to try Tiana Crown Guard instead of the top end with the When I'm Summoned Rally, which I think could work really well with our champions with ash and quinn because we want we want to have a lot of attacks and i think that just works well with the grand plaza anyway just the tiana crown guard um but yeah so our, our champions are ash and quinn they want to be attacking a lot especially you know quinn wants us to attack uh four times so we're going to be able to have we're gonna have a lot of scouts in this deck to hopefully be able to attack more we're going to have you know genevieve elmhart great horn companion grizzled ranger green thing warden and then of course blinding assault summoning valor and Quinn bringing along Valor. So we're going to have a lot of scouts that hopefully we can attack twice on, um, you know, Quinn's turn. And then the next turn, we got a couple of Relentless Pursuits in here. So we can play Relentless Pursuit, attack two more times, level up that Quinn. Um, as, and then as far as leveling up Ash, we have tons of Frostbite in here. We have basically the maximum amount of Frostbite, basically. We have Brittle Steel, Flash Freeze, and Harsh Winds, all three ofs. And then we eat, then we also have some Ice Veil Archers getting some Frostbite in there. Um, and then the top end, Rhyme Tush Shaman Frostbiting every round and Winter's Breath with a lot of Frostbite. So we should be able to own combat, like, right? Like that's basically um, the goal of our deck. Be able to attack a lot and make it so like their, their uh, enemies all have like zero power. And so our attacks are really great. So... Um, yeah, so that's what we're trying to do, just completely own combat. We're not really interacting with spells too much. Like, we play against a super spell-heavy deck um, that's using removal on all of our stuff. That's going to be worse for us, you know, like your Ruination kind of decks and things like that, because um, we're not really doing anything to protect our our stuff We're um, from spells. It's all about protecting them in combat. All right, but let's get to it. Let's try it out. Ash Quinn. Let's see if this works well again. Alright, playing against a Go Hard deck. Alright, um, I love Brittle Steel against Go Hard. Now we're we're probably gonna need like a, a unit to play before Quinn. But like these cards right here honestly look pretty good. <laughs> I don't okay, so I have the attack token on turn six, so Quinn wouldn't so I could play like turn five I could play like Quinn plus pursuit. I think I have to mulligan these two just to kind of get something out a little bit cheaper. That's a good, good question. The question is which board slash song do you like the most? Um, Where do you stand on cold shots? Watch this. I honestly really like the arcade board song. I know some a lot of people don't like the arcade board, and so I don't I don't use it very much. But I always I really like that song actually. On the arcade board. Um, but besides that, um, both Freljord and Noxus have great ones. There's a a lot of like the, just like the the regular regions have great ones. Freljord, Noxus, Demacia. And of course, Bilgewater with the classic. Slow down, will you? Them good. Time to get rowdy. I 
As far as how they look, I think I like the look of the Freljord one the most, I think. I like that frozen board that Freljord has. My plan here is to be able to attack multiple times with this Quinn this turn, and then and then go to the next turn where I'll, where I will have the attack token, and then be able to attack multiple times with the Quinn again. Please no ruination or vengeance. <laughs> Hopefully neither of those. Bounty cool, no ruination at least to start with. This would make sense to play this too. <clears throat> if that's the best they did was just the Jagged Butcher. If you're, yeah, new player. Take your time. All right, just a second. Make a difference. Before they order. We go. Still heart, steady aim. Wiggly Burblefish. Um, doesn't really matter which one challenges. I guess I'll just have you challenge. Because we're gonna have we're gonna have the new Valor also. It doesn't doesn't really matter. They'll both be two ones. Um, next turn either either way. They both attack for three. Ooh, they burned a Twisted Fate off the Pool Shark. I think they should be drawing another. Okay, no, the pool shark was two turns ago. I'll burn for what I've done. All right, let's mess some folks up. And now we have another Erlong's Pursuit. And we basically just looked like a scout stack here. That brittle steel was really nice, though. Um, but yeah, Quinn. Uh, Quinn Grand Plaza. Going to be pretty good. There we go. All right, so all of our Frostbite cards are good against Lee Sin. <clears throat> Not as good against Zoe. Zoe's just pretty expensive. Um, the Great Horn Companion is is amazing with the Grand Plaza, but I, I don't want to keep that expensive of cards in hand. All right, predictions are up. Please no turn one Zoe, just pass. Just pass. No. <laughs> Everybody has turn one Zoe. Yeah. <laughs> At least so far today. Every Zoe deck we've played against has had turn one Zoe. How would I nerf Grand Plaza? Mystical levitation. Is the question. Um, 
I think realistically there are two good options to nerf Grand Plaza. And <clears throat> either one would work. I think either you just get rid of the, the plus one plus one, or you change the summon to played. I think either one of those would be good options. Alright, I want to lead with this Blinding Assault. Kind of see what they do. So I I could see them getting like the Stun Card or Equinox. Okay, so they're not going to have either of those. What do you see, boy? So of course I want this Green Fang Warden here as far as challenging. Oh, they are, they already have Equinox? Are they just... Oh, they already, they already played Super Cool Star Charts. Oh, I should have played Ash then. I maybe I should have just played Ash anyway. I guess I guess Ash was just a better play. Yeah, Ash was just a better play. I don't have to worry. I was. Hmm. I was. Hmm. Yeah, no, Ash was just a better play. Now I'm basically deciding whether or not to block this mentor the stones and give them the three gems. I think that answer is no. It's going to take multiple attacks for me to take down this Zoe. Bring me the call of an ice shrouded world. Because basically, I don't want to, like, challenge the Zoe the first time. And then they use a bunch of gems and heal it back up. I have to fight now because of... Uh, guiding touch. Yay. No! Alright, we were able to take out Zoe. Talking about a one mana card that required so much work for us to try to get rid of and, and gave them a bunch of cards. That's a good that's a good one. Oh, I should have just attacked with a green fang warrant to be No, yeah, never mind. Yeah, we're still at zero. Okay. Extend your senses. And they're at seven out of eight. Conflict is all in the mind. The dragon spirit awakens. I wonder how this game would have looked if I would have played Ash on turn four instead of the Green Fang Warden. Center your spirit. This still puts puts Rhyme Touch Shaman back into my hands. I assume they're taking my harsh winds. Oh, uh, single combat. Okay. Good dog. I bear a message from Oh hey, what's that? 
the frost reveals all to me. Go, floaty crystals! have to try to do 20 damage to them with Ash just like this next turn. Not going to be easy. I like them using these gems right now, though. Ice runs in our veins. Yeah, I can't. I can't do this. Yeah, I can't kill them this turn. Definitely can't kill them this turn. I have to keep these frostbites for next turn. The frost reveals all to me. My land, Steve, center your spirit. So, if my opponent has nothing else, this is us taking two damage and staying alive. Away with you, stranger. If my opponent has nothing else. The time is right. Strike now. And this game was lost for me on turn on that turn four, not playing the Ash, playing the the Green Fang Warden instead. Dog. Faster than my arrow? I think not. I fight with my spirit, not my fists. Our enemies would be foolish to underestimate you. Yeah. Not not exactly winning next turn. I really like that they're using this gem right now. Ice runs in our veins. I need this to resolve. I need them to not not have a counter spell. Do they they just drew that deny? Wow, they just drew that deny. Oh, why did I play the Grand Plaza first? I could have got an extra plus one plus, we'll them to the end. plus one plus one on the Jenny. Could have been a seven six. I don't know if seven six matters too much, but it could have been a seven six. These woods belong to us. Okay, that's, that gets frostbitten and then pulled. I don't want that. So we need we need to have Ash first. So Frostbite's first, and then yeah, then pulls the 3 2. Patience makes perfect. Okay, and then I need to challenge this thing. Where Valor goes. 
Yeah, we gotta kill these elusives. So this this could allow me to still stay alive with drawing a harsh winds. So yeah, it's not like they, this extra grand plaza wouldn't have really mattered. Hopefully we draw another harsh winds. But if if my opponent didn't have if they didn't have like the counter spell for that crystal arrow, we might have had a, a chance here. Nope, blinding assault. I think we would have won that if I would have played that turn four differently. Defeated. Not I think we would have won that. But then again, we don't know. We don't know if they had like that other Z Zoe in hand, so maybe they had like the sleepy trouble bubble. They would have just stunned. Ash. Okay, um, so we're playing against scouts. We're gonna want frostbite stuff against scouts. Um, Rhyme Touch Shaman actually kind of good here, but I'm gonna just go with this. All right, we're gonna need our frostbite cards. I want to see like basically our spells that cost less than three mana. Those would be good because we're not playing anything on turn one or turn two, so we're gonna need we're gonna have spell mana. So even blinding assault, you know, but like brittle steel, blinding assault, flash freeze. I need those three cards. Relentless pursuit is a spell that costs three or less. Need some spells. Okay, flash freeze. So now I could lead with Ash or. Green Fang Warden. We protect these woods as they protect Do the us. Warden. He smells something. Or where that came from. Fortune favors the bold. That card is good against my Warden. I was thinking that I could have the Warden on defense. Um, but no, guess not. I've got your back. Fresh out of mercy. <laughs> Cute bird. He bulletproof. Cute face. Talon proof. So in case they're trying to go repost, flash freeze could work well against repost. They don't also have her post. Okay, good. Just like hunting for a piece. All right, good draw. The double plaza matchup. We both got double plaza. I take eight, go down to three. I keep Quinn alive though. Because I can't harsh winds. If only I'd, if only I had one more mana and I could do both flash freeze and harsh winds. But I can't cast it right now if I want to keep Quinn alive. Pay. The dead 
Yeah, that's true. I'm gonna lose to, to Rally. That's true. Well, I guess no. I don't lose to Rally because I I just have to waste my blinding assault. If they if they play Rally, I just have to waste my blinding assault. Take your time. Uh, no, but then they still challenge. I don't get to block. So yeah, never mind. Yeah, we would I would lose to to Rally. I don't know why the others aren't attacking me, so I guess I, I'm i not going to lose to Rally now, because I, I can only take 8 damage at most. Huh. Alright, 10. So, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So you can go 9 triple spelling that way. What do you see? You two are a welcome sight. Valor, to me. Ah, uh, they were scared of judgment. We go. Before they organize. All the world on one. That's why it helps out playing like weird decks with weird cards. People will be weird. They'll be scared of weird things. As the arrow flies. Um, no, let's just have this this scout kill him. He smells something. No one escapes my aim. Huh. All right, so we went to him. So got that game. That was a really weird ending. The last couple of turns. I wonder what was in their hand that they just weren't playing anything. All right, back to scouts. It probably won't end like that last one. We'll see if we both have double plaza again. Most likely not. Um. All right, I'll keep the Ice Veil Archer. I don't even know if I want to keep Ice Veil Archer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to keep like one cheaper thing just to make sure so like we don't just like draw like a whole bunch of, of expensive cards so you know, like a bunch of Genevieve's and Harsh Winds and not really be able to play anything. So keeping this just in case. Um, right now Grand Plaza of course is our best draw. But yeah, by, but yeah, by getting Quinn, you could have Scouts, which is really popular, and this deck also. Um. He started without me. The dead don't need riches. Seven damage already. Yuck. A true Fragorian welcome. won't miss no no I just saved that we've drawn a little bit too much top end it found you makes sense to do that though I'll be very surprised if this works, and I'll be very surprised if we win this game from here. Because I, any any kind of trick from them, this doesn't work, and then we are in, yeah, like we are in all the trouble in the world. So I can play Ash to just trade with Valor, and then we take seven. Um, yeah, I mean I just have to. 
I think not. There is a patch coming up. Um, I don't think it's next week. I think it's the week after. I believe it's the patch is going to be February 9th. And I will be very surprised if the Grand Plaza is the exact same card. Okay, that Verlong's Pursuit. Yeah, that was us mulliganing very poorly. Okay, back to this matchup. I, I think this is a good matchup for us. It's just turn one Zoe is just ridiculous, and it, as long as they don't have turn one Zoe, I feel pretty good about this matchup. Our curve looks really high. I think we just we just seem to have all very expensive cards. It's the other thing. These last two hands have been just really bad, mulligan wise. Um, single combat flash freeze. Those cards are good. Oh, just turn one Zoe. No biggie. It's like a trade Brittle Steel for super cool star chart, I guess. At least that gave us some gave me something to play this turn. Alright, so can we catch up? It's looking bad right now, but can we catch up with our champions? Faster than my arrow? I think not. Alright, Zoe down. Zoe already did her job though, got multiple super cool star charts. Only Demacians are no easy trip. Extend your senses. So they're gonna be able to bury your lease in. How do I want to do this? Patience makes perfect. Scouting ahead. Basically, kind of testing them to see if they have Pell Cascade. <laughs> that's a single combat that's going to kill my Ash. I'm glad they did it like that and not with the Lee Sin that was going to have the barrier. Okay, so Lee Sin's a ways away from leveling up. Being... You know, only only five now, so still a little ways away from leveling up. Prepare yourself. The time is right. Strike now. All right, we're at three. Sight. Deny and Nopify is kind of likely for this Blinding Assault. Hopefully no Equinox and no Stun. That's great news. No Equinox, no Stun. Um, yeah, that's great news. Because I can... I can make it so they can't block this turn.
Awesome. Because, yeah, we, we kill this. They don't get to heal their nexus. The war is over. And, uh, yeah, then we can just go, like, flash freeze and they don't get to block. There we go. So our champions did help us catch up, and Frostbite was really important. And we saw Brittle Steel was incredible there, right? Like, whenever they grabbed the single combat and they fought they fought with the, the wrong card, they fought with the Mountain Goat and opened themselves up to Brittle Steel instead of fighting with the Lee Sin. Of course, if they fought with the Lee Sin, then, then their Lee Sin was going to be vulnerable uh, to my challenge after that, and they didn't, they didn't want that, which makes sense. So I guess so that makes sense. No, we never we never played Tiana. We never, no, never played Tiana. We had Tiana one game against the Scouts that game four, and that hurt us. We had both Tiana and Winter's Breath, and a Harsh Winds, and a Genevieve. We had all that like those are we had drew those four cards right away against Scouts, and they killed us on turn four. And we, we were just sitting with all these cards that were way too expensive to cast. Um, but I think so. I think that the Lee Sin Zoe matchup is going to be pretty good for for you in general with all these all these frostbite cards the frostbite cards are really effective in that matchup um but yeah it's basically just you know frostbite grand plaza quinn and you know like that's like the main parts of the deck ash is in there doing uh, good stuff as well but quinn with the scouts with the you know the scouts with grand plaza and frostbite uh ends up being pretty powerful it really does and so we'll take another three and two record um yeah, we'll we'll take another three and two record. You know, we beat uh, the Lee Sin Zoe deck. We beat Scouts, so we, we defeated some good decks, and just you know something something different to play. Green Fang Warden actually looked really good for us these games because basically every time I had Green Fang Warden, I had Plaza, and so it was you know a three three barrier Scout Challenger, and that's awesome. When when you have Grand Plaza, Warden is awesome. It's just like. Warden when you don't have Plaza isn't very good, but it does. It is a card that you can just kind of throw away with an attack, um, you know, to level up a Quinn. It, it does. It does do that too. Yeah, the one of Winter's Breath can can come in clutch at different times. Um, it, you know, it can help with like frostbiting their whole team, not letting them block with your Ash. Um, this can it can certainly be a different card. It doesn't have to be Winter's Breath. I could see it maybe even being another Rhyme Touch Shaman. The Shaman looked good. Um, different times that we had shaman like this time and last time um, or just a cheaper card right it does it does seem like that we were kind of uh, that we were really slow and really relying on having the grand plaza and uh, I could definitely see having another one or two mana card we don't have very many if you look here we that's that's I think the weakness of this deck is that there's only 11 cards that don't cost three plus mana and so if you don't have these 11 cards you're not going to be doing as well. So I could see that Winter's Breath being, you know, another single combat or some other units you could play in there, whether you want, like, Fleet Feather Tracker or... There's just... There's so many options. You want Averroes and Sentry, Egg, Egghead Researcher to get you some other stuff. You could play Sharp Sight. You could play Troll Chant. Like, we have lots of good cards we could play. Even, like, Bright Steel Protector, um, you know, giving, like, the Barrier also another good quality card. So lots of great cards to play in the one or two mana spot that maybe maybe you could do that instead of like the winter's breath tiana maybe these are unnecessary all right so that's ash quinn all right so those of y'all watching later on youtube hit that like button over there and of course feel free to leave those comments let me know what you uh how you like the deck if you try it out yourself just other things you're playing to rank up with uh love seeing those comments uh so make sure to leave those but that's all i got here for some ash quinn so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you for the next video